friends. Hey, Dolores. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished cleaning out the barn this morning. It's uh, probably about 10 a.m. So not super early. <laughs> um, we got a big winter storm the other day. So we have about a foot or so of snow and it's supposed to snow today as well. But I have got to go and put a shutoff switch in the bottom wire of our fencing. So I thought that I would bring you guys along and show you that uh, it's pretty cold not sure um, what the temperature is but the cows are happy and eating their hay there's the barns pretty clean now it wasn't too bad this morning we had put some straw in for bedding for them but they ate the majority of it um, but yeah their minerals are looking good I've got two things of manure that are frozen to the ground, but the sun's shining, so I'm hoping that it'll warm up a little bit throughout the day and I'll be able to get the, those two big old chunks out of here. Um, but that is, that's about all that's going on up in here. Um, yesterday we slaughtered our six young rabbits, and those are the last of the rabbits for the winter. So uh, those pelts should be really cool, and we got the six of them in the freezer. So that's great. I've got their ribs and um, back bones and stuff already in the freezer, so those are going to be made into bone broth. Super excited about that. I usually mix um, the bone broth. I usually do like one rabbit carcass and one chicken carcass together, and uh, make a load of bone broth in my Instant Pot. And then I do about three or four loads um, in my Instant Pot. And then I have enough to make a whole canner full um, of broth at once. So anyways, let's go out in the snow and get this fence all uh, fixed up. So winter fencing, if you get a lot of snow, it's always great to put a shutoff switch on your bottom line, maybe even more depending on how much snow you get. But um, I'll show you how our fence works in the winter time. We do have a shutoff for our back uh, two pastures, so those aren't hot at all, but the front two are. And so I've got to get that bottom line, um, a shutoff switch. I already have a shutoff switch in the one part but this front area here does not. So I'll take you out and show you what we have. And you can see how we do them shut off switches for the snow. All right, so step one is turn off the fence. So I'm gonna unplug the fence and then we'll go out and work with that without having to worry. All righty, so this is what the shut off switch looks like. And I forgot I'm gonna need to go grab some screws and a drill to hook this to the post. And I've got some pliers and I think that's about all I'm gonna need, so. Holy cow, it is so bright after you're in the dark barn and you come out into the snow. It is blinding. I can't see a thing, but I gotta go grab some keys and get a drill and some screws. Now I have everything I need. So I got a little bucket. I got a small drill with a bit and screws, four screws to put the switch on the post. I got the switch, some spare wire, and some pliers. 
Alright, so now we can head out. The chickens are hiding out inside. Alright, so right here at the corner by the chicken coop, I do have a cutoff switch already in place. So that shuts off. Um, this is where the power comes in. It's buried right here and it comes up this black line to this corner post. And it comes into the middle wire right here. And then that wire feeds over to the cutoff switch here. And then this goes into the bottom wire. So when this is closed, you have a connection to the bottom line. Um, but right now the bottom line is cut off from here over to the barn over there by that gate. That's all shut off. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit in the snow here. And this is all shut off, this bottom line that goes up the hill and to the gate up on the hill. So that is all already shut off. The bottom line is already shut off there. But I need to go just past that gate and put in the other switch and that'll shut off the rest of the bottom line to the front two pastures. So um, I probably should have did this in the fall, <laughs> but I kept putting it off. Now we get to hike through the snow and have cold hands, but that's okay. It'll be nice to get this done because the line is all under the snow in the front, but right here on the hill right now, just a small section. And here you can see that uh, the line is under the snow. So that'll be good. I'm glad that this part is actually already shut off. So. But the other side, I'll show you how deep the snow is up there. The snow is almost to the top of my muck boots. <laughs> so I'm a little out of breath going uphill. Look at that, the fence line is... There's only two wires right here, it's a gate, so... If there was a bottom one, it would definitely be way under the snow. <laughs> but look how beautiful it is. I love the snow. All right, so this back part we've got up here is our um, two front fields, and then I'm standing in the third one, and back there is our fourth field, and uh, these two back ones are already shut off. The power comes up here to this corner, and then, sorry I'm out of breath walking through the snow, uphill, but so the power comes into this post and goes here, goes over the gate, down, and over to that far corner. So in that far corner is a connection that feeds, when connected, it will feed power back throughout these two back pastures. So we just unclip that corner over there and it cuts off all power to these back two. So these front two pastures are fully hot except for the bottom wire here that's coming in comes to here, stops, it's not connected anywhere else. So um, then the power comes from this middle wire. There is no top wire right here because of the support. We don't really need one right here. So there's just the one wire that comes over and it goes over the gate. Ooh, that is deep. <laughs> I sunk in a hole. All right, so right here, the power comes down and into uh, this line here. So there's this line is technically the middle line. It's pretty low. This is the top line. You can really hear the lines. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it in the video. You can hear them buzzing away. They're not hot right now, obviously, but the high tense, high tensile wire 
This is a little bit skinnier and a little bit skinnier. These two are, are thin wire, but this one's really thick. These wires make a lot of noise <laughs> in the wind and stuff. They kind of vibrate. But anyways, so the power comes in here on this middle line and comes over. And then they are, it is connected up to the top line. So giving that, um, electrifying this top line and then coming down and electrifying that bottom line which carries on throughout the whole fence. So what I have to do is put a cutoff switch here for the bottom line. Instead of bringing this from the middle line down um, on this post, I'll go ahead and put the cutoff switch and feed this line to the cutoff switch and feed a line up here to the cutoff switch. And then I'll be able to turn off the rest of this bottom line. All right. So first I will try to clear a spot of snow. Should have wore some snow pants, but I just have my kind of comfy pants on. All right, so first I will go ahead and mount the switch. It does not come with hardware, so I need to um, use my screws and just mount this on to the post. I'll probably put it right about here and uh, screw that on, and then we'll go ahead and get our wires on there. Super quick, easy process. All right, so I went ahead and got this switch installed. So now I am going to undo the line that's feeding electricity to here. And I am going to instead run this wire to here to the switch. There we are. I got it all connected. One thing I forgot to bring with me were some wire cutters. So I'm going to have to come back and clip this extra I had off. But so now you can see the middle line that's coming in. This is hot. It comes in here. It feeds up to the top wire. It feeds down to the cutoff. So when this is closed, you'll have a connection through to the bottom line. When it's open, the connection is broken, and therefore the bottom line is now not going to be hot. So there we go. I'm going to have to go get some wire cutters. I'll cut off the excess here and here, and then I will be done. But one thing I also have to do is continue down the entire front fence line and just make sure that I don't have any other wires along the line that are supplying electricity to that bottom line. So you can see up here we got a few inches until it touches the snow. But I'm going to go ahead and follow this fence line all the way around and make sure I don't have any other connections that I need to undo to that bottom line. Alrighty, and I got my switch open. So I know that when I plug that fence back in that won't be hot. So. This is that other, the far corner I was telling you about. I just walked over here. That's where I was. That is where the cutoff switch is. So in this corner, this is where the power comes down this line. And then uh, it will not be, can, I gotta undo this. That'll supply power to the bottom line. So I gotta undo that. Power will be coming here. And then we have this uh, little handle. So if I plug this in here, it will supply power to the back fences. So in the wintertime, we keep that unhooked and now these back lines won't be powered. So I see two spots here. I gotta undo these so that we don't get power to the bottom. One here and one right over there. All right, so now this corner's all set. We got the top two connected and unconnected that bottom line. 
I think come spring I will add another insulator here and connect a middle line to this post and over to here so because there is no middle line here it's kind of a big hole right there which is fine our cows won't go through it but I'm sure silly little calves will try to go through there for sure <laughs> all right so this section's all set and now I will go continue on back to the barn and then here is a perfect spot you can see we are getting deeper that bottom line is just about touching and then here it goes under and is buried so snow is water and water is a conductor and it will snatch away the power from our electric fencer so we want the fence to be energized good so it's always good if you live in a snowy area to get that bottom line on a cutoff switch it's also good for spring when you have tall grass and weeds Right. This is the fence line between our first and second pasture. The cows are up here in the front, and this is our second one where they are the majority of the year. But so right here in this corner, we have connections going from top to top, middle to middle, and bottom to bottom. But the lines are not connected from one to another, so we are good here. And that line goes straight to the barn, which the bottom line's pretty much all under snow, but I know there's no connections there. So I shall climb through. <laughs> and check up here. All right, here is another one, and there and there. So. All right, let's go ahead and get these off. And since I don't have my wire cutters, these pieces I'm just wrapping around the middle for now. And I'll come back and cut them some other time when it's warmer. All right, so I just undid the connection here and the one over there. So right here after this post, uh, our f along the front, we actually have four wires, um, top, two middles, and a bottom that you can see is in the snow or pretty close to it most of the way. I like having four wires here because our neighbors have cattle as well and they have a couple bulls and we have a bull and they kinda, argue back and forth over the fence so it's nice to have the fourth wire but I have to undo this line which this looks like it is through the insulator and connected and still going up so I need to find which wire this is and get that undone all right, and the one problem here is that this bottom line was only connected through the next line up. So the only way it got power was coming through here, hitting this, coming down to the third line, and then coming down to power this fourth line. So this will not be hot ever unless I connect this to this side of the bottom. This is the bottom line coming down. It needs to connect here. So I need to run. I'm not going to worry about it now because it's winter and I want this bottom line shut off. But I'm going to need to come back and connect here and run an insulator around this post and in some tubing or whatever and connect it here. So this line is completely disconnected until I come back and do that. And 
another spot where the line is buried. This is all completely buried. There is a line under there. There it is. So that line's completely buried in the snow, which is the exact reason why we need to have this switch installed. And I see a connection up here I gotta take off. There's one, and there's one over by the gate too. So two more to undo, and then we should be all good to go. Here is my last connection I need to undo, and of course the last one's gonna give me a hard time. So this is the bottom line coming in. It, it's wrapped around the insulator and then it actually continues up, wraps around here, continues up, wraps around here, and continues up and wraps around here. So I can't just undo this or I undo them all. Um, so I'm gonna have to run back and get some cutters and I'll just w cut this wire here, wrap it around and leave that connection on the others. So, I was hoping I didn't have to run back and grab more tools, but I guess I do. Okay, so I got all of the connections figured out. Got the bottom line completely disconnected, except for um, at that cutoff switch. So now I have two cutoff switches, which completely shuts off my entire bottom line for the front two pastures. So those are off and should be good to go. The cows are still munching away on their hay in there, and I am just going to go plug in the um, electric fencer back in, and then I'm going to go and get warm and have something maybe warm to eat or drink. But I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me today and uh, enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.